On Tuesday, October 19, 2021, at around 2.30 p.m., Albuquerque police were called out to the Four Hills Studio Apartment Complex for two young kids being left unsupervised. As officers arrived, they found two little kids, one being a seven-year-old girl and a nine-month-old boy, with the mother nowhere to be found. Uh -huh. How's it going? How are you? Doing pretty well. Just FYI, the girl's already, the little girl's already crying. Okay. The mom's not back yet? Nope. Okay. Police department. Hi. What's going on, guys? Is everything okay over here? Okay. We got called out here to check up on you guys. It's okay. Sorry. Nobody's in trouble. Yeah, nobody's in trouble at all. We're just gonna talk to your mom when she comes back home. That's all. It's okay. So we got a call. We've gotten a couple calls prior to this that they didn't have one, um, but. We couldn't get in or check it or anything. How um, long have you guys been getting calls about this? Like how? For I've been here for a couple weeks and it's been since day one. Where is your mama? She's going somewhere. Uh -huh. Where did she go, baby? I don't know. She didn't tell me. She didn't tell me. Do you have a phone number for her so we can give her a call? The mother was identified as 27-year-old Samantha Sanchez. And her name's Samantha. How often do would you say that you take care of your baby brother? Mm -hmm. How long does that usually take? Do you know? It takes 20 minutes to maybe like yeah. 20 minutes to what? 20 minutes to 30. Okay. How long, when did she leave today? Uh, she, so we, it's been about 10, 15 minutes. Okay. Honey, there's nothing for you to be upset about. There's nothing for you to be upset about, okay? Your mom made a bad choice by leaving you here. She did. She shouldn't have left you here by yourself. You're too young to be here alone, especially with a nine-month-old. Nothing. We're gonna talk to her though. That's not fair. It's not fair for her to be mad at you, and I'm gonna tell her that. Hello, this is Officer Sean Delaney with the Albuquerque Police Department. Is this Samantha Sanchez? Well, I'm trying to get a hold of you because uh, I'm at your apartment with your unattended children and I was wondering where you were at. Okay, how long are you planning on being gone? Okay, we'll see you shortly. How far out are you? Okay, that's a ways off. We'll see you when you get here. The officer made contact with Samantha, who then arrived approximately 15 minutes later. What's that? What do you mean that I want? Yeah. Why are you here? Because you left your children unattended. They're fine. Yeah, but they're a little young. And so my daughter knows the drill. She knows to stay home. And you can mind your business. And yeah. I could mind my business if there wasn't a violation of There's not the a violation of a law. You just a need to mind your business. Old, no, a seven-year-old. So who the fuck, who the fuck told, you know what, leave me alone. Get away from my house. Okay, there's an officer inside your apartment. Is there? Yes, ma'am. Did you call the cops on me? No. Frank, back to three, we're walking up to the door. Excuse me, you can, like, take your tone down. Okay. You're in my so house. So you don't need to yell at You're your kids house. because you left them here. Do you understand they're, that? She, they're taking care of, they know better. They know better than yes. what? They know. They, they always stay home. Can you and I talk outside, please? No, you can mind your business. Okay. I have the right point, to refuse. This is, a, this is a child abuse I have investigation. The, no, okay, it's not an that? abuse investigation. They're not even been abused. Yes, it is no, an abuse. Not. This is a they're neglect not. They're not investigation. Abuse. They're not abuse. Can you, like, come out? Go, in the, go inside. Yeah, I would like her to stay inside, and I don't want to see... I want her to see her mom upset like this. Can you come on? Because I want to talk. 
Did you call the cops on me? She didn't. All right, who let's talk over here. Who called the cops on me? First off, I want to know who called the cops on me. First, First of all, there's a few things we need to work out before you decide who, which of your neighbors ratted on you. Yes, okay? who snitched on me? I want to know who it was first. And then second of all... So you don't see a problem with leaving your children no, in No, because they've apartment. been here all the time. They do this all the time. And That's they're taking care of. So you're upsetting her and making her cry. Mm -hmm. just walking down no, you can close my door and get out of my house. That's no, what you it's can. A criminal investigation. No, it's not. It's not. Nothing's been criminally done. Actually, yes, this is no, a crime. No, it's not. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave, sir. So um, you can like. So are leave. are you requesting that uh, CYFD takes your children? Is that what you're requesting? <laughs> and if CYFD takes my fucking um, children, I will be suing. The officers okay. and everything. So right, so do you right wanna, now, this is child abuse. Do you okay? want a lawsuit or do you want to leave abuse. me alone? Take the lawsuit. Yeah. Take the lawsuit. Okay, Absolutely. then get. So are you wanting to go to jail? Is that what you're wanting? I'm not even doing anything wrong to my kids. My kids are taken care of. Okay. Okay. Everything's so, fine. So here's the thing. You're making her upset right Come now. Come here. Okay? You can talk to her for a second, but we, need to, leave my we need to sort alone. this out. And leave them out of the no, you left your kids alone. They're and that's why fine. We're here. They have everything. They are fine, officer. Yeah. Yes, we're fine. Why are you picking on us? What yeah. is wrong? Okay. Why? No, so I here. don't want to be under we can, arrest. We can no. either have a conversation about this civilly, or you can go in the back of a police car. Do you understand how that works? Okay, well, let's talk, and you need to... I don't need to walk away from my doorway, sir. So okay. let's stop. Go ahead and put your hands behind no, your back. No, I want to talk. Put your hands behind your back. As officers began to place Samantha under arrest, she became physical with them, resulting in the officers taking her to the ground. Don't pull away from us. Go to my car. Hurry, go to my car and tell Thurman to come get in the van. The baby. I need the other. I need another cop. This is ridiculous. You're ridiculous. Why don't you mind your business? Stop pulling away from us. Stop fighting. Get with off of me now. Get off. Get on your stomach. Oh my God. Get off of me. Let go of this stuff. Let go. This is child abuse by living him in there like that. Get Another off of me! Stop pissing. Get Stop off! Let me up! Let me up now! Frank, I Get off of me! Get off of me! Let me up! Where's the child? We got a Get off! Get off! Stop kicking. Stop kicking. Stop kicking the police. No. Get the fuck off me now. Break my arm. It says anything on my arm. Sir, are you involved in this? Get the fuck off me. Okay, just give us some just space. Just give us okay? a second, okay? Just stay down there, sir. I'm fine. I'm not going to deal with it. Okay. Sir, Where's the young child? Okay, is she safe? Stop fighting with me. I'm 300 pounds, bitch. I can do whatever I'm Stop pinching me. Are you serious? Yep. Wow. Get off of me! Cooperate with us, please. If you stop I'm attacking us, shit. if you stop attacking us, me. we'll get off of you. I said get the fuck off me. Now, I can't breathe. Get then you need to stop resisting us. Stop fighting Burn with in. us. Do you need anything from me? Burn in. No. Burn in. Burn in! I need to talk to you! Come here! Don't come over here. So one of the children is with somebody over there in the parking lot. Okay. The baby's in there. If you want to grab him, that's fine. Leave my kids alone! Don't touch my kids! I don't give you permission. Don't! Okay, yeah. I'm okay with that. Let me up! Stop fighting with us. Stop fighting with us. I said get up. And I said stop fighting with us. I said get the fuck off me. Stop fighting with us! Get off me! Oh my toes! Stop pulling well, away from me! Get the me. fuck off me! Let me up! We're on the east side of the pool. Oh. Let me up! Oh. Ow! Oh. Ow! Oh. Ow! Oh. Let me up! Let me up! Ow! 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 My legs! Stop pulling away from me!
You understand that? Uh, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Stop it. Yeah, stop grabbing me. I fucking think it's come off me. You fucking pig. This is ridiculous. You're ridiculous. Unreal. You're unreal. Unreal. Bitch. Mind your fucking business. This is our business. No, it's not. Now you have to go to jail for battery on a police officer. I don't give a fuck what I gotta do. And I'm not cooperating. So there's that. So just to remind you, you're being recorded. Turtle. Everything's being oh recorded here, you understand that? I don't give a fuck what's recorded, you little you are bitch. Under arrest. You're hurting you my to arm! With us. Huh? You need to stop pulling away from us. Go to my car. Tell my homegirl I'm getting arrested. Tell her that she can stay the night in my house. I give her permission. Off me. Bro, my fucking arm is hurting. Get off. All I ask is to get off this dog shit. Get off me. What did she say? There's dog shit on me. Come on, get off. Let me up. Oh my god. Let me up, please. Let me Maybe up. We're still here with the subject. She's still fighting with us, but we got her in handcuffs. We got a couple other subjects around us too, but they're uh, they're sitting back. There's dog shit right here. Can I please get up? Please. Where is it? Right in front of me. I want to get off the floor. Okay. You stop wiggling around. We'll move you away from Say, it. Okay. Get me up. Did you hear her last question? Please just let me up. I can't hear anything with this. It's, it's awful. Though. Yeah. Ow. My arms. Everything hurts. Come on, let me up. Yeah, we're just trying to negotiate. Oh. Let me up. Stop. Well, they're not. I keep fucking telling you, you stupid ass. Don't you hear me to let me up? <laughs> Stop moving! No. Will you break anything on me? I will sue you. Let me up. Let well, me up. Operate, Stop right? moving. I said no. I have the right to move. Okay. So the guy that was kind of bothering us walked away, so that's better. Um, what do you think? He's gonna, we're gonna have to get her in a car, but it's gonna be, uh, we're gonna have to drag her. No, no dragging, please. Yeah, get a press. I can walk, I promise. I can walk. Oh, my arm. My arm. It's Samantha. Samantha? Please, let me up, officers. You gotta cooperate. I know, but let me get up and I'll cooperate. Stop. Well, then let me up. Bro, come on. Stop pinching me. I'm not even pitching you, you stupid ass! My head's far away from you! Let me up! My arm is hurting! Get <laughs> off! <laughs> Turtle! I can't breathe! I don't want to get off! Stop moving! Shut the fuck up! You're ugly as fuck! Ow! Oh, my arm! My arm! My arm! Oh! My arm! My arm! My arm! I can't breathe! Oh. Let me up! You got it. You got it. Oh. Oh. Here, get both of them. Both of them? You can... You can oh. Oh. Hey, right oh. the oh. Why are you guys so mean? I want to eat all the hair! Hey, listen, you're kicking us. Take deep breaths and try to relax. <laughs> Let me up off this nasty floor! We will. We will. Hang tight. Oh, why are you too? pulling it off of me? Stop kicking us. You have to listen. Oh, why is this hurting me? Oh, this one's hey, hurting hey, my arm! It's not hey, moving! Hey, relax. hey, listen to me. Okay? Listen to me. I'm gonna loosen it. You better let you better comply, okay? I am! Or force Come will be used on. against you, okay? You guys are wrong! This is so unnecessary! No. What you did was unnecessary. No, he came at me the wrong hey, way! Let me go! This one's not too tight. Oh, let me go! That hurts! You can do this one a little bit, hey. I guess. Listen, your yelling and screaming is not making anything well, just better. Leave me alone! I wasn't even doing anything okay. wrong! So right now we're past that point, okay? Let me go. So, take some deep breaths. Let Try me to calm be. down just a little bit. Maybe the officer is going to talk to you. Okay. I don't want to talk. Well, then we can't help you. Well, send it. Can you send it? Hey, we'll hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. I hate you guys. Go ahead and set up, okay? No. 
Who's going to get a close by, Gary? So what's going to happen next would be... We're going to actually... We'll probably bring him to one of you guys. I didn't do anything wrong! My children are fine! Look at me! Let me go! 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 We'll get your phone, don't worry about that. I want my baby daddy to have my phone. And you guys need to stop minding your business. Tell this landlord to go away. Go. I'll stay here with their property. Oh, these things are too tight. I'm not walking until they're looser. Well, we can't do it until we get the car, okay? I can't walk, they're too painful. Samantha, your daughter wants to know if she can have her phone. Would that be okay for me to get that for her? <laughs> I didn't even do anything wrong. <laughs> go ahead. Just get my keys and my phone and go give it to my baby daddy. <sighs> Can you get my phone and my keys to my baby daddy, please? We'll, we'll make sure all that gets there, okay? Please. We said yes. <laughs> Can you loosen them? They hurt. And I want my slippers. <sighs> I'm not walking on these floors. They're drug infested. Come to the door. Go. I didn't do anything. Okay. You have everything you need. I'm asking you to do, okay? Take small steps. Take small steps. Here we go. Learn in. Take my keys and my phone. I didn't even do anything wrong. My kids were fine. Thurman, let me talk to Thurman. Please, let me talk to my baby daddy. Please, Samantha, please let me talk to my baby daddy. My daughter's dad's right there. Let me talk to him. No, I want to talk to him. You get to us. No. We can stand here all day. Please, just let me talk to my baby daddy. We already listened them up for you. I want to talk to my baby daddy because I need to tell him something. Let go of me, I can walk on my own. No, no, no. Please happen. take your arm off me. That's not how it works, okay? I hate you. I hate all of you anyways. You guys don't even do your job. Why are you here for me when this whole place is infested with drugs? Like, why? I just walked to that one. No, I'm going to that one. No, uh, so she asked the security to pick up her stuff and give it to her baby daddy. Um, I picked up her ear. Can I please talk to my daughter's dad? Yeah. From the cop car? Yeah. The kids are in the front office right now. If you guys want to no, go, I'll I want my daughter's dad to have my daughter. Okay. we got to handle all the semantics with time. Oh, you guys won't even let me talk. Yeah, stop playing with me. No, because you guys already want to use force on me anyway. You are the ones that tackle me. Man, how did that feel? You made me disappointed. Let me talk to my daughter's dad. My son's dad is an NPC. Well, let's first get in here. Let me talk to him now. I can't do anything. How are you going to expect somebody to jump in? I was involved, so let me just okay. do everything. Right. Oh, these hurt. <sighs> you I want the seat belt now? I will get my shit dismissed anyways. There you go. There's no evidence. There's no evidence. Besides battery officer fucking fighting, that's it. The fact that you weren't here. Like no, there isn't. They'll be, negative. They'll be dismissed. Well, my cases are always dismissed. I'm well, sure the judge will love to hear you say that. Yep. Let me talk to my daughter's dad. Now, please. Hey, that's fine. Big problem was You good? I think so. I won't. Okay. I only did that because they were being rude to me. Mm -hmm. so I'll well, I appreciate you being cool with me, okay? Because you're nice and you're being calm with your voice. It's all about the voice. Is that? With me, it's all about the voice. Please. 
I get crazy when somebody yells at me like that. Or you just, get all you get all crazy or what? <laughs> yeah. I'm nice. I'm nice <laughs> if you talk to me nice. You know what I mean? It's it's just <laughs> normal me. I'm sorry. Well, you're good. As long as you're cool with that, sorry. Samantha was transported and booked into the Metropolitan Detention Center on charges of battery on an officer, assault on an officer, attempted battery, abandonment of a child, and no driver's license. Sanchez ultimately took a plea deal, which dropped the battery on an officer and no driver's license charges in return for pleading guilty to the attempted battery and abandonment of a child charges. In May 2022, Samantha was arrested after she shot her little boy's toes off after her and her boyfriend got into a fight. Sanchez claims it was an accident as her and her boyfriend were fighting and during the fight, the gun she pulled went off and the bullet hit the left toes of her little boy. In that case, Sanchez was charged with two counts of child abuse where she pled guilty. The district attorney filed to have Sanchez held behind bars until trial. However, the judge denied that motion and released her on probation with strict terms which included no unsupervised visits with her kids. Samantha faced up to nine years behind bars. However, in June 2023, she was given a suspended sentence of one year in jail and five years of probation. On Tuesday, December 26, 2023, at around 7 p.m., Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office received a 911 call reporting that a man driving a pickup had crashed into a homeowner's property fence off of Rio Rancho Boulevard Northeast in Los Ranchos, New Mexico. Deputies responded and located the driver, who was identified as 40-year-old John Paul Samuel, in the front yard walking around with his dogs. You guys okay? Yes, sir. Hello. Hi. I'm the property owner. Okay. And this gentleman is driven through my... Cross through the fence. Here. Okay, are you all right? Yes, sir. Where were you headed to? I just going home. You are headed home? Yes, sir. Where, where do you live at? It's right there. Hey, buddy. Where at? I, I, my dog's even sick, too. Can you put your... Uh, could you put your dog he in the, in the here, truck? Baby. Come here, Friendly, no, can you put your dog back in the truck? <laughs> sir. Yes, sir. Put your dog in the truck. No, no, you don't live here, do you? Come here, come here, come here. No. Put your dog in the you truck. <laughs> do you have any injuries? Go. Yes, I know. I know. Well, I didn't well, so, so I have a 40 year old male, conscious breathing, uh, no injuries at this time. Hey, hold on, I'm talking to you. What, what's going on? I, I, where, I, so, where are you coming from? I just don't want anybody to get sick, and I want my dog. Can you to be... shut the door of your truck? Let's do that. He doesn't bite. Okay. He doesn't bite. And I don't want you guys to think that I'm. Okay. Is your truck? Hey, Marcus. What's up, man? Are you selling your truck? Okay. Who was in there with you? Yeah, and this guy, like, I get it, like, freaked out, but I, I, I don't, I don't want to hurt, I don't want to hurt nobody. So Marquez, I'm here with you. I'm yeah, I don't think he's injured or anything. No, is it just him? Yeah, it's just him. Just him. Is it just you in here? Do you have any complaints? No, sir, I'm okay. Uh, the gentleman said he struck a pole or is there any significant damage to a pole? Is that what No, there wasn't a pole that was struck. It was a residential fence. Okay,
Come here, there again. Did, uh, was that the homeowner? Yeah. I, uh, did, you, did you see anything? No, I haven't. I really just got here. I haven't even interviewed him The homeowner him just Listen. came out. He got all freaked out. And I, I called my um, homegirl. I called my homegirl to come help me out. Look at your head, man. Hold on. Get your head down. I bunked my head from the dog. This the dog. He bunked my head. Let's get that checked out, man. No, I'm fine. No, I know. I just to clean it up, man. Let's look here. Hey, he has a scrape. I'm okay. I'm okay. He said it's from the dog, though. But okay, here's one. Just check it out real quick. Where's that? It's on the it's top, right of, on top of, his head. of the head. I'm gonna go talk okay. to him. Okay, sounds good. The second deputy who was on scene was observing the damage when he looked into the truck and noticed an open bottle of Crown Royal. I don't want to be assessed. I just want to fix this and go home. I gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna let them do their thing, and then I gotta get, I gotta get some paperwork. Where's Marquez? I have a non-patient. Okay, cool. I'm here with you, bro. I, I don't want any problems. Okay, cool. Yeah, we, we're just concerned about you. You have to understand that we have to do our job and. All these guys are here, so they need to do their job, too. What's your name again? Samuel. What is it? Last name, Samuel. What's your, what's your first name? John Paul. Oh, okay. John Paul, Samuel? Yes, sir. Okay. I'll need all of that. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. You're good, man. This is a whole lot of fucking... Hey, you're okay, and so are your dogs. That's what matters. So, that's what matters to us. Are you sure? What's up? Are you sure? Yeah. You're okay, right? <laughs> you... Is it S-A-M-U-E-L? Yes, sir. Well, I don't do I don't I don't do this like this is go ahead, go ahead. What I'm going out here is just a not patient form. And this is just saying that we came to assess you at this point in time you don't want to be assessed. No. Okay, so if you decide later on you want to be assessed. Just yes, back, okay? Whatever. So I just gotta get some information real quick. Go What's ahead. your date of birth? I'm 40 years old, sir. Well, what's a home address? Do you know what day of the week it is? Yes, sir. What day of the week? Just humor me. I know it's silly. Well, I think that today is Saturday morning. Who's our president? Silly question. Joe, Joe Biden. Okay. Jess! Jess! What? Samuel refused to be checked out by paramedics, uh, along with refusing to do any standard field sobriety tests. If you need us, call us back, okay? Thank you so much. You got it. You guys are awesome, thank you. Awesome. Where are you coming from today? I was just coming home from walking the dogs. Walking the dogs, where were you walking them at? We were over there at the dog park on the west side. Oh, cool. What happened here? I just made a fucking left turn and it got, I just, I don't know. Were you headed this way? I'm headed home. Sir. Well, so, okay, so, but you were heading this way, right? Got a driver's license, John Paul. And it's it's right not in. on me right now, sir. Who was that that came a while ago? That was with the that, dogs. That was Jessica. You, did you call her to come over here? I told her to come and get the, um, my information and stuff, and I don't have my. But I can get it. Did you have those truck. dogs in there with you? No. No. What are those dogs come for? Do you have them ready? They're already there. Okay. So it was just you, no dogs in the truck, nothing like that. Okay. I, I'm just trying to go home, Mark. You know what I mean, bro? What happened, John? How'd you end up over here? Into the fence. I wish I could tell you. Do you know where you're at? Yes. Where are we at? We're right here on Ranchitos, and I mean, isn't that real grand right there? Yeah. It's right. It's real grand Ranchito. Okay, where were you at? Home. Okay, where are we coming from? The dog park. Which one? Right there off of the west side. This one? I'm not familiar with the west side. Dog park. So you're at the dog park. Um, 
Were you with that girl over there? No. So what were you doing at the dog park? Were you just there? Just hanging out. Who are you hanging out with? The dogs. Which dogs? My dogs. Yeah. I'm just I'm asking if you're at the dog. If you're if you're at the dog park and you head at home, yes sir. Because you're hanging out at the dog park with your dogs. Where are your dogs at? They're with me. Okay. And where are they at now? Are those the dogs that got picked up just now? Those those bulldogs. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You're, you're trying to ask me questions that I don't have my lawyer present, so I don't know what how okay. to answer. Well, Marquette, I'm just trying and, to figure out how yeah. this happened. Okay. Yes, sir. And simple, I want I want to cooperate right? with you, sir. Simple questions, right? I'm mean, asking you complicated questions. I'm like, hey, where are you at? You said you're at the dog park with your dogs. I don't I'm see not any dogs. I mean, I saw those dogs. Are those the dogs that you have? I'm not. It's not a trick question. I'm not trying to trick you into saying yes or no about your dogs. Okay. So what? What do you want me to? Well, I'm trying to figure out what happened prior to you crashing, where it led to you crashing. I didn't crash. Okay. So what happened then? I don't know how to explain that. I have to have my lawyer present in order to answer. So you don't know how your truck ended up into that fence? No. Okay. Do you remember turning down here that you ended up over here? Because if you're headed home, I'm assuming you were driving down Rio Grande or you were driving up Ranchitos or you don't know. I, I, I can't answer that question without my lawyer. Okay. So you don't want to answer any questions? Then? No, sir. Okay. About what happened? No, sir. Okay. I, 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 I do not want to give you guys any fucking problem. Just No, I know John. Just don't hold on. Don't I don't I don't want to fight you guys. I, I don't know you're not fighting. I'm, we're just talking, okay? Alright. Have you been drinking tonight? No, sir. Huh? No Turn sir. Your face me. No sir, I have not been drinking. Why do you smell like alcohol? I don't want to I argue with you. I don't want to give you guys any problems. Alright. So have you been drinking? No, sir. Why do you smell like alcohol? I don't smell like alcohol. I don't know what to tell you. Okay. Do you want to answer any more questions? No. Okay. Do you want to do some standardized? No, access? I don't want to argue with you. I don't want to give you any problems. John, face me. Why I do don't want turning? to argue with you. Why do you keep turning? Am I, am I yelling Because you? you are. We already been through this before, Marquez. Okay. That was last time. This is today. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna make you feel like you need to uh, bulk up on me or I'm whatever. I, 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 you, I don't. I don't want no problems with you, bro. I respect, I respect you. you. I respect you as and fuck. I, I appreciate that. I'm being respectful to you. Okay. I'm not yelling at you. I'm not harassing you. I'm not doing anything other than asking some questions about. What go, I don't. What I just want to go home. Okay. Well, I understand that, but something happened on your as you were driving home, right? And if if you don't remember, that's fine. You could say, "Hey, I don't remember." But listen to me, John. Okay. So look, here's the deal, man. Is, is you smell believe. like you smell like you've been drinking? No. I'll be honest with you. No. Okay. There's an open Crown Royal bottle underneath your seat that's spilled. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I see that, you crash, you smell like alcohol. How does that look? Huh? You want to do some tests? No. No? Why not? Is there any reason because why you don't want to do very, tests? It's very cold and my, you already know that my leg is fucking like yours. My leg doesn't stand up straight. Okay, so is that the why you don't want to do some tests? Yes. Okay. What if I, you mind if I check your eyes? No, no? I, 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 I don't have my lawyer here and I can't right. do it because my leg hurts. Okay, all right, John, so here, do me a favor, turn around, okay? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sir. It's okay, you don't have to apologize, man. You can, you can arrest me. I'm sorry, too, sir. You don't have to apologize, sir. I'm sorry, sir. You can lock me up, my friend. I'm just making it locking. I know. I know. I'm not gonna fight you either. I'm not gonna. I know you're not. I'm not gonna. I know you're not. I'm not gonna. I know you're not. I'm not saying you're fighting me or anything. Thank you. Let's go have a seat in my truck. I have no choice, John. Okay. 
doesn't look good. I know, but I well, then I, what am I supposed to do? Have a seat. Watch your head, man. Go ahead, go ahead, put your butt in. There you go. Scoot over, scoot, 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 scoot your butt. Okay. Straighten up, straighten up. Please help me. Straighten up. Please help me. Please help me. Face forward. Please. Face forward. I'm okay, I'm okay like that. I need you in order to get the seat. I know, I'm okay, okay like that, bro. Thank you, my turn. Thank yeah. you for taking care of me, man. You're welcome, man. Just my cousin. Okay, you can sit up, man. You can like straighten up. My cousin. Sit straight up. Please take care of me. So you're more comfortable. Okay, look at me. Just look at me. No. You have anything in your mouth? No. Open your mouth. Lift your tongue. Okay, so I, I don't, 1915. I you know what? I don't. I don't do stuff like that. So like what? I don't. I'm just making sure you're not. I'm not gonna. Mouth. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Close All right, John. Close the door. Hold on. It's cold. I'll turn the heat on. You got a big jacket. You got a bigger jacket than me. <laughs> yes, sir. Listen to me, okay, John? You're, I'm about to tell you something important, okay? You are under arrest for DWI, driving while under the influence. The New Mexico Implied Consent Act requires you to submit to a breath test to determine the alcohol content of your blood. After you take our test, you have the right to choose an additional independent test. If you choose to take this additional independent test, you have the right to a reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, a licensed nurse or laboratory technician or technologist who is employed by a hospital or physician of your own choice to perform an additional chemical test. The cost of this additional test will be paid by the law enforcement agency, which is the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office. Yes, sir. Do you agree to take our test? No. I cannot force you to take our test, but if you refuse, you will lose your New Mexico driver's license or non-resident operating privilege for one year. If you are convicted in court of driving while under the influence, you may also receive a greater sentence because you refuse to be tested. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Do you now agree to be tested? No. Okay. All right, John, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go downtown real quick, do some paperwork, and then I'm gonna have to take you to the hospital to get cleared because right. of that, especially because you got that cut and no, okay. no, don't make a big deal out of that. Hey, Marquez, I'm not gonna fight you, bro. You know, you know I know you're not. You know I know you're not, You know John. I'm a fucking dick, I know. but do you know what? I, I you've never been. That a, you haven't been a dick always, to me, man. You've never been a dick to me. You're very fair with me, and I respect you. And I, I, I please help me. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, cannot, I know, I, bro. I, I, I know. I, mean, I know. I know. Just let's just go. Okay. Let's go. All right. Thank you. Do you have anything in truck you want me to get for you? Hmm? Do you have a cell phone or anything no, in there? Um, I'm okay, bro. All right. Thank you. Okay. Ow! Straighten up, man. That's why I said straighten up. There you go. While at the hospital, Samuel at times became irritated with the deputy before later praising the deputy on how good he treats him. My head does hurt a little bit. Okay, we're just I wasn't know. even driving. My friend was driving. Okay. I, w I didn't even drive the truck tonight, bro. I literally understood like the last time. Like, then why'd you say you did? You can't. I, I wasn't driving. Then why'd you say you did? What? Then why did you say you did? Why did I say that? I never admitted that I was driving. I wasn't no, driving. You probably don't remember. My fr well, you know what? I wasn't driving. Okay. And you can't place me behind the wheel. Okay. If I wasn't driving. You know how it works, man. You know you're how You're not going to go and fuck me like you this, know how it works. Marcus. You know how it works. You're not going to fuck me okay. like this. Well, I do know how it works. You're, and I'm. you're going to talk to my lawyer. Okay. You're not going to get nothing out of me. Bring you down. There's other people here. Okay. <gasps> There's other people well, well, why are you acting like a fucking dick now? I'm not acting like a dick. Yeah, you are. Okay. You just don't like what you're hearing. That's all. No, I... Keep it down. All right. You know I wasn't fucking driving. Okay. Bro. All right. And now you're fucking pissed because you know that I wasn't I'm not fucking mad driving, at all. bro. I have no reason you to can't mad. put me behind the wheel. I'm not mad. Fucking bat. Okay. You, you know I wasn't driving. Okay. And you can't... There's nothing to argue here. Well, you can't place me behind okay. the wheel. All right, then. All right. I know what I can argue with you. I can I'm argue... I'm not here to argue I can argue you. that I... Hey, if you're going to argue, argue softer because i got critical patients and I'm trying to give them more. All right? I'm, I'm sorry, man. I don't care if you're arguing. Just do it what, I told, what did I tell you? Just be quiet. Have a seat with you. Sit a little bit. Huh? Sit with you. Sit. More? Have a seat. Thank you, sir. Why are you so good to me? Because I have to be, man. 
We all meet at Akata Camp. No, I, you don't. You don't have to be this good to me. Okay, have a seat. Thank you. You're a good man. You know that. Thank you. Thank you. You're a good man. Jimmy, John, look at him. Quiet. You're gonna get yelled at. Okay. 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 After being cleared, Samuel was transported and booked into the Metropolitan Detention Center on charges of aggravated DWI, 7th offense, driving while license is revoked, and open container alcohol. Go ahead. Hey, okay, watch out. Scoot in, scoot your butt in. Straighten up. Court records indicate Samuel has had five previous DWI convictions in New Mexico and is currently behind bars awaiting trial. On Monday, November 20th, 2023, at approximately 9.15 p.m., New Mexico State Police Sergeant Toby Lefebvre was on routine patrol when he observed a black Toyota driving without any lights on. As the driver began to turn, they hit the concrete curb before pulling into the Walgreens parking lot at the intersection of Main Street Northwest and Camelot Boulevard in Los Lunas, New Mexico. While Sergeant Lefebvre was speaking with the driver, he noticed a strong odor of alcohol emitting from the vehicle, along with the driver having bloodshot and watery eyes. Do you have your insurance? Actually, and give me give, give me that registration right there. Give me that one right there. Yeah. And then let me see your insurance. I think I just have my. Five eleven ten Oh, I know. Ten forty two. Have a good night. Ten forty. Thank you. Good night. It's okay. Don't worry about it. The driver was identified as 23-year-old Estrella Gutierrez. Okay. See your, see your tail lights? You drive without your lights on. You didn't have your lights on. Oh. That's why I'm stopping you. And it's dark. Oh, um, I don't know. I didn't... 
think it was too dark. I mean, okay. Well, by law, you have to have them on. Whether or not you think it's dark or not, okay. by law, you have to have them on. No. Okay. No, and then no, back over here, when you when you, when you you made that left-hand turn, you went over the curb. You don't you don't remember that either? No. I I know. I'm sorry. Okay. Come over with me. Sit there. Okay. Sit right here. So where are you coming from? Um, Huning Ranch. You, you were coming from Huning Ranch or are you going to Huning Ranch? No, I was coming from Huning Ranch. Okay. I, I wanted to stop at Sonic, but I didn't. Which way is Huning Ranch from here? Uh, that way. Okay. So you're going to Huning Ranch? Or are you well, coming from Huning Ranch? I, I was coming from Huning Ranch and I was going to Sonic and then I was going to go. Okay. Because, because when I saw you, you were traveling eastbound towards Huning Ranch. Yes. Okay. Yeah. No. I, Maybe I, I'm confused. Okay, so you were, okay. Where were you, where were you coming from just now? Huning Ranch. Okay. Where were you going to now? I was going to Sonic. Okay. So you come from Huning Ranch? Yes. And Sonic's, Sonic's down the street, Huning's over there? Yes. Okay. But you were going that way? Yes. I, okay. I had called my boyfriend. Oh, gotcha. I, I asked him if he wanted Sonic and he said no. Okay. Um, so, okay, so you come from, so, so where were you coming from? Huning Ranch? Well, yes. Okay, I, no, that's I, fine. That's fine. I'm probably just confused. How much? How much you had to drink today, Miss uh, Miss Miss Gutierrez? I haven't had anything. Okay, let's be honest with each other. Cause I can smell from your breath. I smelled it. I smelled it in the car. I smell it from your breath. I like two drinks. Okay. When did when, when did you have two drinks? Uh, eight thirty. Eight thirty. Okay. Just, just, just wait right there. I'm good. Yeah. Okay, so you had two drinks, last one at 8.30? Yeah. What would you have to drink? Um, I had like a mixed drink. I had um, fruit punch and vodka, I oh, guess. Okay, that's yeah. fair. Do you, just, just stand right down my light. Put your heel, heel and toes together. So I'll make sure that you are safe to drive. Check your eyes. Any, any major head injury? No. Okay, see my fingertip? Mm -hmm. Follow my fingertip with your eyes only. Don't move your head. Okay. This hand's gonna move from your left to your right. Fall the whole time. Okay. Okay. Nope. Don't move your head. Oh. Keep keep your nose facing my nose. Okay. Hands your sides. Okay. Hands your sides right here. During the field sobriety tests, Sergeant Lefave noted several signs of impairment, which included starting too soon, using arms for balance, improper turning and unable to maintain balance while listening to instructions. Don't look at me, look at my finger. Okay. Ready? Sure. But don't move your head. Hands at your sides. Mm -hmm. keep, keep your nose facing my nose. Okay. Same thing. I'll tell you when we're done. Okay, same thing. I'm gonna go up and down, follow my, follow my fingertip. Mm -hmm. Hands on your sides, right here. Okay. Ms. Gutierrez, do a quick test, we'll possibly get you on your way. Any problems walking, balancing, or turning? Um, no. Are you, are you, are you pretty healthy? Yes. Okay. Can you walk behind those shoes? Uh, yes. Okay, come over with me. Come over. Just stand right here. Put your heels and toes together. Okay. Right now, the only, thing, the only thing I want you to do is just listen to me. Okay. Okay. Imagine a straight line from your left foot to my right foot. Okay. Can you imagine a straight line? Yes. Okay. The line with me, the width of your foot, which is about four inches wide, roughly. Miss Miss Gutierrez, do me a favor. On that imaginary line, place your left foot just like this. Okay. Now place your right foot directly in front of your left, touching heel to toe, like I'm doing. Just stay like that. Hands at your sides. 
Okay, do not move until I tell you to. Do you understand? Okay. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, for that position, when I tell you to begin, and only when I tell you to begin, you will take a series of nine heel toe steps down that imaginary line. Look, just like this. Watch me. Don't start here. Just like this. One, two, three. I took three. You will take nine. Okay. Once you take nine steps, you'll make a turn. Keep your front foot planted with your back foot. Bring around like this, taking a series of small steps, turning all the way around, and now you're facing my police car. Okay. Did you? I'm so sorry. Um, okay. I'm allowed to keep my heel or um, my toe. My keep. Heel, I'm sorry. My toe, and I'm allowed to keep it on the ground. Yes, yes, ma'am. Keep your keep keep your front foot planted, and with your back foot turn all the way around. Okay. Did Did you understand the training process? Yes. Okay. After you turn, you'll take nine more heel toe steps towards my police car, just like this. One. Two, three, back down to number nine. Ms. Gutierrez, during this test, keep your hands directly at your sides. Okay. Look, down what, look down at your feet while you count, and count aloud so I can hear you. Also, once you start this test, don't stop it until you've completed it, and don't forget to touch heel the toe. Okay. Any questions for me? No. Do you feel I understand? Yes. Okay, so next up will be step number one. So, your proper turn. One, two, Heel toe. Three, four, Heel toe again. Five, six. Okay. Turn face me. Mm -hmm. Put your heel and toes together. Hands on your sides. Next test called the one leg stand. Okay. okay when I tell you to begin, what I want you to do is raise the leg of your choice, either your left leg or your right leg approximately six inches parallel with the ground. Okay. Do you know what the word, do, do, do you know what the word parallel means? Yes, uh, um, I, I, I don't really know how much six inches. Roughly, roughly the size of a Coke can, roughly, approximately. Okay. Okay, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna sit there and measure it, but it's, it's roughly that tall. Okay. Okay, watch me, don't start yet. Man, my hands are on my sides. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise my left leg, okay? Okay. My left leg's fully extended, my toes pointed. My foot's about six inches parallel with the ground, which means level. My hands are on my sides. Once your foot is raised, look down at it and count like this. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. And you'll keep on counting until you tell to stop counting. Okay. Ma'am, during this test, keep your hands directly at your sides. Okay. Look down at the foot that's elevated and count out loud. Okay. Any questions for me? No. Do you, do you, do you fully understand everything I want you to do? Um, yes. Yes. Are you sure? Can we go over it again? Okay. Just to make sure. Sure. Make hands on your sides. Okay. Look down the foot that's, that is elevated mm -hmm. and count, just keep on counting until I tell you to stop counting and count 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Okay. Until I tell you to stop. Okay. Any questions? No. Fully understand? Yes. Okay, ma'am. You can start when you want and I will tell you when to stop. Okay, you want to stop? You want to stop? So, Ms. Gutierrez, did, 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 did you understand everything I want you to do tonight? I'm sorry? Did you understand everything I want you to do tonight? Um, yes. There was, there was no questions? Mm, no. Okay. Walk up to the front of my police car. Face it. Like that little red light? Red light. Okay. See it? Look at that and put your hands behind your back. There you go. Keep your hands right there. Okay, I'm going to bump up your sweater. Okay, you have a small wrist, so we'll lock them all the way, palms together. Okay, Ms. Gutierrez, listen to me. Right now, I'm about to tell you something very important. You are under arrest for driving under the influence of intoxicating liquor and or drugs. The Mexico and Pike Consent Act requires you to submit to a breath test to determine the alcohol content of your blood. After you take our test, you will have the right to choose an additional independent test. If you choose to take this additional independent test, you have the right to reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, a licensed nurse, or laboratory technician or technologist who's employed by hospital, or a physician of your own choice to perform additional chemical tests. 
The cost of this additional test will be paid for by the law enforcement agency, which is us, the New Mexico State Police. Ms. Gutierrez, do you agree to take our test? At which time I'm asking for a breath test. Yes. Can you turn and face me? Oh, open your mouth. Lift your tongue. Anything in your mouth? No. Just your teeth and tongue? Yes. Okay, it is now, it is now 927, okay? okay? Anything on you? Poke me, stick me, hurt me? No. Okay, those are the keys to the car? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going to take them off your neck, okay? Okay. 517, come. I'll get them. Boy. If you could roll one, we're in the Walgreens parking lot. And at 2127, go ahead and show that 1041, 1015 for 47. Implied was read, verbally agreed, mouth is free and clear. Okay, you want to face my car? Do you have pockets? Yeah. Okay, nothing in your pockets. No. No. Nothing in your waistband? Okay. No. Nothing in your back? Nothing in your hair? Okay, come back here with me. I gotta move some books back there. So give me one second. Give me one second. Okay, go ahead and have a seat. Sergeant Lefebvre briefly searched the vehicle and located two bottles of alcohol, with one being nearly empty. Sergeant Lefebvre also found packages of meat in the vehicle, to which he asked Gutierrez who could pick the meat up so it wouldn't go to waste. Okay, you have some, you have some meat in the car? I'm sorry? Yes, some meat, some meat in the car? Yes. Who can we call to come pick up the meat? Because cars didn't get towed, but I don't want you to lose all that money. So who, who can we call to get the meat? Um, my boyfriend. Okay. How do you... How do you how do you unlock your phone? Um, it's with like my fingertip, but it's. And hey, what's his name? It's Steven. Oops. It'll be under a baby doll. Okay, I think he just called you. <laughs> okay. So I'll put on speakerphone. Sergeant Lefebvre called Gutierrez's boyfriend and asked if he could pick up the meat, to which her boyfriend agreed and ultimately did pick up the meat a short time later. Gutierrez was taken to the Los Lunas substation for processing, where she also gave two breath samples. Okay, right here's a brand new cell mouthpiece. No one's ever used it, okay? Takes right into the breath tube. And this test is going to be a two-breath test, which means you have to give me two... Mm. Two breath samples. Okay. You just want to stand up right here. Come here. What you can do is you're going to take a deep breath and blow like a balloon. Don't stop blowing. Okay? The same flow. Go ahead. Take a deep breath and blow. Stop. The first sample indicated Gutierrez's blood alcohol content level was 0.22, which is nearly three times the legal limit of 0.08. Okay. Same thing as last time. I'm going to stand up. Take a deep breath and blow. Stop. Thank you. The second sample indicated Gutierrez's blood alcohol content level was 0.21. Any questions? Uh, what happens next? As far as tonight, or as far as the whole the whole process? Uh, tonight. <coughs> okay. Sure. So tonight, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish my paperwork. I'm gonna put you in there. Um, give you your phone. You you can call whoever you need to call. Um, once we're once we're ready to once once we're ready to leave here, I'm gonna take you down to VCDC, the the jail down here. Book you in. Um, you'll be changed out. Uh, the judge, um, depend on de depending on their schedule, he or she may may let may let you out tomorrow. That's again I don't know their schedule. Um, and then, go ahead. I'm sorry. Um is it more likely that I get out on, like, Monday? No, no. It won't be that long, I don't believe. After processing, Sergeant Lefebvre transported Gutierrez to the Valencia County Detention Center without incident.
Gutierrez was charged with aggravated DWI, first offense, improper equipment, driving without lights on, careless driving, and open container, first offense. Um. On Monday, November 6, 2023, at approximately 3.30 a.m., New Mexico State Police Sergeant Toby Lefebvre was out on I-25 near mile marker 206 monitoring traffic when he noticed a vehicle approaching at a high rate of speed. Sergeant Lefebvre turned on his radar, which indicated the approaching vehicle was going 96 in a posted 75-mile-an-hour zone. How about, okay, so back over there we saw my lights. You were trying to catch up to me? Yes, sir. But I was stopped. No, you're going. No, I was I was stopped. No, I promise you. You're going. Okay. Oh, that's fine. How about your insurance registration? I saw your lights. There's a registration right there. Sorry. Yeah. Perfect. Is Mr. Ardo going? Right? Yes, sir. Do you favor, come here and talk to me real quick. Yes, sir. I just saw you. You are just going really fast. Okay. So that, that's what intrigued me. Oh, okay. I tricked you? I didn't mean to trick you. Sorry. No, you intrigued me. Treat me? No, intrigued. Oh, intrigued. Sorry. Sorry. Come back here with me. Yes, sir. Just stand right in front of my police car. Yes, sir. All the way in the front. Yes. All the way in front of it. Yes, sir. No, no, stand in the front of it. Not behind yours, stand in front of mine. Oh. All the way in the front. All the way in the front. Keep on going. Just stand right here. Stand right there. Right there by that flashing light. Yes, sir. Okay. Put that in your pocket. That's just an e-cig? Yes, sir. Okay, put that in your pocket. It's, it's disposable. Okay. That's fine. The driver was identified as 35-year-old Anthony Argon. Where are you going to? I'm just going home. From where? Uh, I was at my friend's house. Okay, up, up, up in Albuquerque or what? No, in Las Lunas. You were in Las Lunas just now? Yeah. And then you were going home? Yes. Sir. To Belen? Yes, sir. You weren't you weren't north of Las you weren't north of Las Lunas? No. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Well, I saw you speeding north of Las Lunas. No, I was just, I was going home, okay. sir. Okay. So, how much did you have to drink today? Oh, well, sir, 
I, uh, I'm just trying to go home. Gotcha. Everybody is, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm trying to go home. You're trying to go home. So how much, how much did you have to drink today? I don't know how to answer that question. Just honestly, actually. Like, was it one beer, two beers, no beers? It's one. It's one beer? Yeah. Okay. You fair. Stand right there on my light. Stand on my light. And not on my car? Take take one step to your left. One step to your left? Okay. So you had so you had one beer. When was that one beer? It was probably like 45 minutes ago. Okay, in, in, over there, over there in Las Unas? Yes, sir. Okay, and now you're heading home? Yes, sir. Okay, so obviously my job is to make sure everybody gets home safely, including you, okay? Right? Yes, That's my job. Can you do a favor? Put your, put your heels and toes together. Yes, sir. Hands out your sides and not in your pockets. And do a favor for a split second. Your hat, just, just put it on backwards. I know it'd be kind of weird. So, 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 what do you do for a living? I work for the railroad. Okay, keep your head straight. Oh, oh. Gotcha. Yes, sir. Any any major head injury? No. Okay. See my finger right here? See my finger? Yes, sir. Hold my fingertip with your eyes, eyes only. Don't move your head. My hand's gonna move from your left to your right. Fall it the whole time. Do you, do you understand that? Yes, sir. Okay, here we go. Oh, don't move your head, sir. Okay. Actually, actually, stare at my finger, okay? Stare at it, hands at your sides, not in uh, your pockets. Can I put my hands in my pockets? <laughs> no. No? No. Put your heels and toes together? Yes, sir. Okay, here we go. Follow my finger. You can see it, but actually stare at my fingertip. Okay, same thing now, I'm gonna go up and down. And your sides, not in your pockets. Can I readjust? You need to readjust, go ahead and readjust. Please. Go sir. ahead. Okay. Yes, sir. But keep your hands out of your pockets. Oh. Okay, yes, sir. Hands right here. At okay. your sides. Put your heel put your heel and toes together. Just like this. Okay. It's same thing. A, it's kind of a hard position. Okay, well you can sound like that. That's fine. Okay. Sir, two more quick tests and we'll, and we'll, we'll, we'll possibly get you on your way. Any problems walking, balancing, or turning? No, sir. No? Can you, can you walk behind those shoes? Yes, sir. Okay, come with me. Stand right there on my light. Yes, sir. Fix your truck. Yes, sir. Put your heels, heels and toes together. Heels, heels and toes. Heels, so. heels, heels and toes. Heads on your sides and not in your pockets. Okay, sir, can, can you imagine a straight line from your left foot to my right foot? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay, the line width be the width of your foot, which is about five inches wide. Do you a favor, on that imaginary line, place your left foot just like this. Go and do it for me now. So I gotta do heel to toe? No, right now, right now, just just put your left foot on the imaginary line. Yes, sir. That's your right foot. I said put your, put your left foot on the line. Okay, yes, sir. Okay, now put your right foot in front of your left, touching heel to toe like I'm doing, and stay like that. Directly in front, line up your feet. Hands on your sides, okay, do not move until I tell you to, do you understand? Yes, sir. So from that position, when I tell you to begin, and only when I tell you to begin, you will take a series of nine heel-toe steps down that line, just like this, watch me, don't start it, just like this. One, two, three, get back in that position. Yes, sir. Okay, sir, I took three just to show you, but you will take nine steps. Yeah, I got, I got confused. Okay. But can, can I readjust? You could, you could get back in that position, right foot okay. in front of your left. Yes, sir. Okay, so. Sir, I took three, but you'll take nine steps. 
Once you make, once you, once you take nine steps, you'll make a turn. Keep your front foot planted with your back foot. Bring around like this, taking a series of small steps, turning all the way around. And now you're facing my police car. Sir, did you understand the turning process? Okay, after you turn, you'll take nine more heel toe steps down that same line, just like this. One, two, three, back down to number nine. Sir, during this test, keep your hands directly at your sides. Look down your feet while you count, and count out loud so I can hear you. Also, once you start this test, don't stop until you've completed it, and don't forget to touch heel to toe. All right. Any questions? I'm a little nervous. Gotcha. But other than that, do you, do you feel I understand? Yes, sir, I okay. understand, but I'm nervous. Gotcha. Why are you nervous? How can he not be nervous? Okay. Okay. Next up will be step number one. All right, ready? I'm ready whenever you are. Hey. Okay. Remember I said take nine more steps? Nine more? Yeah. Okay. Can I try to use my nerves? Sure, you try to use your nerves. That's what you got to do. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Keep your hands out of your pockets, though. Gotcha. Stand right there on my light. Yes, sir. Turn to face me. Yes, sir. Put your heels and toes together. Yes, sir. Hands at your sides. Yes, sir. Right here. Next test called the one leg stand. Okay, when I tell you to begin, what I want you to do is raise the leg of your choice, either your left leg or your right leg, approximately six inches parallel with the ground. Do you know what parallel means? Yeah, it means you gotta pick it up. Level. Okay, right. Do you know how tall roughly, roughly six inches is? Uh, I have an idea. Okay, roughly, rough, roughly the size of a Coke can, more or less? Yes, sir. Okay, watch me. Don't sorry. I'm, I'm going to show you what I want you to do. Okay, don't sorry. Yeah, sir, my hands are on my sides. What I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to raise my left leg, okay? My left leg is fully extended. My toes pointed. My foot's about six inches parallel with the ground, which means level. My hands are on my sides. Once your foot is raised, you'll look down at it and count like this. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. And you keep on counting until you try to stop counting. Okay. So during this test, keep your hands directly at your sides. Look down at the foot that's raised and count out loud. Any questions? Do you feel I understand everything I want you to do this time? Okay. You can start when you want, and I'll tell you when to stop. You ready? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Keep counting. I didn't say stop yet. I I don't have a good balance, sir. I asked you earlier, and you, and you said that you didn't have any problems walking balance or your turning. I'll try. Yeah. Okay, just, that's fine. Go, go stop. Go I stop. I don't have a good balance. Gotcha. Gotcha. Do you know the alphabet? Yes, sir. Okay, starting with the letter H, stopping with the letter R. Recite them forward. Don't sing them, but say each letter clearly so I could hear you. H I J K. Do I go forward or backwards? Forward. Okay. So H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V S T U. We done? Um, S T R U Q Z. X, Y, Z. Okay. Can you count backwards, numbers? Yes, sir. Count backwards from the number 58 to 43. 58, 57, 56, 55, 54, 53, 52, 51, 
and then I'm going back to 50. And then now we're going 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, 44, 46, 40, 45, 44, 43, 42, 41, 0, uh, 30. So 30, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35. Okay, 30. cool. Go on there. After conducting standardized field sobriety tests, Mr. Argon was placed under arrest for driving under the influence of intoxicating liquor and or drugs. On my dash right here, on this thing, can you put both hands behind your back? Both hands behind your back. Both hands all the way behind your back. What's that? Yeah. Five minutes since I'm rolling. What was your Like the 201? Yeah. Okay, sure, listen to me. Right now, I'm about to tell you something very important. Okay, you were under arrest for driving under the influence no of intoxicating liquor and or drugs. The domestic home Pakistan act required you to submit to a breath test to determine the alcohol content of your blood. If you take our test, you will have the right to choose an additional independent test. If you choose to take this additional independent test, this change, you have the right to reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, a licensed nurse, or laboratory technician or technologist who's employed by hospital, or a physician of your own choice to perform additional chemical tests. The cost of this additional test will be paid for by the law enforcement agency, which is us, the National State Police. Sir, do you agree to take our test? At which time I'm asking for a breath test. No, sir. No? Okay. So, sir, I can't force you. I can't force you to take our test. But if you refuse, you will lose your Mexican driver's license or non-resident operator privilege for one year. If you are convicted in court for driving while under the influence, you may also receive a greater sentence because you have refused to be tested. Furthermore, you be charged with aggravated DWI. That's the way the law works here in the state of Mexico. With that in mind, do I submit to a breath test? You can't let me just go home. Well, you go home after the judge sees you. No, come on, man. Please. No. Unfortunately not. You can't, you can't, like, follow me? No. Spread your feet. Oh. Spread your feet. And you said no. And you said no to the breath test, right? Okay, turn face me. Open your mouth. What's in your mouth? What? What's in your mouth? Nothing. Okay. So, sir, right now it's 346. Right now you'll be charged with aggravated DWI because you have not because because you don't give me a breath sample. That's the way it's, that's the way the law works, okay? You can't just let me go home. Mm -mm. Right here. Five one seven seconds. And it rains, it pours off. Yeah, it does. 0346 hours. Go ahead and show him 1015 for 1047. Implied was read, verbally refused, mouth is free and clear. I'll give you his all in again. Go ahead, I'm ready. Have a seat. Yeah, just step in. Yep, just step in. Is there anything about you in the vehicle other than the vehicle itself? Like no large amounts of money, anything like that? No. Okay. Fuck you in quick. Dude, I was so close to one. Gotcha. While Sergeant Lefave inventoried the contents of the vehicle, he noticed several opened alcoholic beverage containers on the front passenger floorboard. Can you go in there? No. Open Heineken's, they spilt. Clothing. 
While waiting for the tow truck, Mr. Argon expressed how unhappy he was about being arrested before making threats towards Sergeant Lefebvre. You could just let me go. You know, yeah, you could have. I, I was so close to home. You're an asshole. You guys don't even know backstories. We don't even know what? Backstories. About what? Well, just to take me in particular, my backstory is I've been working my ass off at Amazon night shift, 12 hours, just working, working, working. I take one night off, I stop at a friend's house just to have a fucking beer. You guys do this. Like, am I locked up for a while? What's that? Am I locked up for a while? No. Can you tell that, or is it just? No, you, uh, you. You just have to see a judge. So, and I don't know the judge's schedules tomorrow, but you could be out tomorrow. Why do you do this to me? Though? Oh, why do I? Why, why do I do this to you? Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna blame me. Oh man. Okay, no, that's, that's fine. Sure, done. So close, to just being home. Gotcha. I understand that. I was so close to being home. So yeah, I do blame you. Okay. Blame blame other people for I'm your not, actions. I'm not trying to like argue with you. I'm not trying to like. It's just like, come on, man. Like, this could happen to anybody. It could. You are one hundred percent correct. And it does happen to a lot of people. Me and my wife have been fighting. Like, you're probably the cake on the icing. I, I guarantee she's going to divorce me now. So thanks. Thanks for that. This sucks. This really sucks, man. Somebody's calling you, I believe. Huh? I believe someone's calling you. Well, it's probably my wife. Is it is it Deandra? Yeah. Yeah, that's her. Why do you gotta like tease me? Like that? I'm telling you, she's calling you. Fine, I I won't tell you that she called. Uh, dude, she's. Joe, probably gonna divorce me. Joe, 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 answer it so she knows where you're at at least. Uh, Never mind, she hung up. I don't care. She hung up. You could let me go, man. I wasn't far. I'm not even combative, I'm not nothing. I didn't say you're combative. No you one know, said you're combative. I know, but man, it just sucks. You like you don't understand. Like some people I get it. Like some people deserve it, but You don't think you so so you don't think you that you that you deserve to go to jail tonight? No, I don't think okay. I deserve to go to jail tonight. I have an interview that's probably ruined. I've been trying my ass off. I've been working so hard. You could have just let me go, dude. You could have just let me go. You could have followed me. You could, I, I swear to God I wouldn't have done nothing dumb. But you arrested me because I'm so tired. You see why I hate the fucking law? You see why? And you wonder why people hate you. Doesn't bother us. No, oh, it doesn't bother you. <laughs> well, it really doesn't. Wow. I wish I could be a piece of shit just like you. You're welcome that I saved your life tonight. You're welcome, sir. You didn't save my life. You're welcome. I would have went home. I went to bed. You ruined my life is what you did. Okay. You guys ruined lives. That's what you have to tell yourself to feel good about yourself? That's sad. Because you know the truth. Okay. I think there's a special place in hell for people like you. Okay. No, for reals. You guys think you're doing the right thing? 
But you guys just ruin people's lives. Honestly, if a civil war ever breaks out, you're gonna be the first guy I'm headhunting, motherfucker. Is that a, you wanna you wanna threaten me, Mr. Hodegun? Is that what you really wanna do? I'm not threatening you. Is that what, is that what you wanna do? No, you want you wanna make threats? I'm not threatening you. Is that is it is that what you really wanna do? Do you want another charge? I'm not threatening. Yeah, 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 you're like, oh, yeah, I'll be, yeah you'll, be, you'll be the first one. Yeah, that's not a threat? It's not a threat. No? no? Okay. Okay. Well, I won't be going anywhere, so I'll be easy to find. Alright. I really hope this shit pops off. I really hope this shit pops off. It's gonna be fun. Everyone gets even, you know? Everyone gets even. I'll see you. You have me so agitated. Do you feel good ruining people's lives? Do I, do I feel good about saving people's lives? Absolutely. Oh, saving people. You might have ruined my life tonight. I'll ruin yours back. I hope I get the chance to do it myself. Oh yeah, let's get on the bench. Mr. Argon was transported to the Los Lunas Police Department for processing right before being taken to the Valencia right County right Detention right. Center. Got it. Can we start going like I told, like I read you some like I read you that thing at the at the traffic stop time you were arrested. I read, you, I read you the implied. You said you don't want to take a breast sample. That's fine. You're right. I start with the machine. The machine's going to say, please blow until the tone stops. You have about three minutes to change your mind from, from refusing to submitting. Um, I've already read the consequences for refusing. You're automatically charged with aggravated DWI. Um, through MVD, uh, you lose license for a year. Um, worst case scenario. I don't trust you guys. Okay, that's fine. I'd ask you about a trust question. Well, I just said I don't trust you. So. Okay. Okay. Mr. Argon was charged with DWI, first offense, speeding, 21 to 25 miles an hour over, and open container, first offense. Mr. Argon took a plea deal which dropped the speeding and open container charges in exchange for a guilty plea on the DWI charge. On Wednesday, January 17, 2024, at around 11.15 a.m., New Mexico State Police Dispatch received a call from a citizen reporting a man in a white Dodge Ram pickup with Texas plates had pulled over just east of Roswell after several marijuana packages had fallen out of the back of the pickup. The caller stated that the driver was a white male wearing glasses and had a gun on his hip. A short time later, State Police Officer Kim Sanchez, who was at the State Police Office in Roswell, spotted the truck. Officer Sanchez pulled behind the truck and conducted a traffic stop near the intersection of West 2nd Street and Avenue A Street in Roswell, New Mexico. Officer Sanchez, New Mexico State Police. So the reason I'm making contact with you is somebody had called you in and said that he observed like large trash bags fall and that it had like large amounts of marijuana, pretty much. No. Yeah, so that's my reason of contact, okay? Um, do you have your driver's license so I know who I'm talking to? Yes. Okay. The bag. Do you have large bags of trash, um, trash bags back there? No, ma'am, I don't. Okay. 
Do you know anything about you pulling off to the side and you dropping a package and picking it up or anything like that? I just I stopped about five miles back. Okay. And let him use the bathroom. There's a big gravel area. Okay. But no, I didn't throw anything out. Yeah, I guess somebody called you in, so that's why we're making contact with you. Okay. 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 You need my insurance? Sure. Three four eight. So I'm clear for Texas deal. The driver was identified as 53-year-old Don Wester. Where are you heading to, Mr. Wester? We're coming here to Roswell. Uh, from Texas, or? Uh, okay, I went through a divorce. I've moved up to Oklahoma recently. Okay. So that's why my insurance is in Oklahoma. Okay. Just by one, by one. Just come out here to visit. Just to see the aliens. Six, four, yeah. Texas is not coming back on file for me. My might be file. But no, I don't have... Denver. So you guys were you're moving from Oklahoma to Texas, or for no, to no. here? No, we, no, we're just out here visiting me and the dog. Oh, okay, okay. Just to get away. Okay. Um, do you mind if I do look in the back of your vehicle? Yeah, I'm not. Going to. I'm thinking Bambino five nine six. I'm not gonna let anybody search my vehicle right now. Okay. I just don't. You know, I told you I don't have anything back there. Okay. And I'm kind of in a not in a hurry, I don't guess, but Okay. Okay, well just stand by, okay? Okay. okay. Yes. White male with glasses? Yes. Trash bags? Uh, I didn't see no trash bags. He has a cover over. So I advised him, like, why I made contact with somebody called him in um, about him picking up, like, a package or something that fell out that might have been drugs or something like that, like weed. Um, so, oh, be careful. Um, so I asked him um, if I could have, do you mind if I look in the back of your vehicle or something? And he's saying no, he's not going to give me permission to look in the back of the vehicle. Okay. And he might have a gun. I don't see it yet. His name is Mr. Wester. I'll go on this side. Yeah. Or be careful because he rolled his window back up. Okay. Hello. Yes, sir. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Can I see your hands? Okay. So we're going to ask you to step out of the vehicle, okay? I'm not going to. You're not going to step out? Not right. No, no, no. So we're just going to ask you to step out, please. Okay. You're not under arrest or anything. We just need to talk to you. Do you have any weapons in the you vehicle? You can talk to me right here. Do you have any weapons in the vehicle? No, I do not. Okay. So step out of the car, please. You can talk to me right here. Okay. So this is your last chance to step out, or we're going to have to remove you. So it's your choice, sir. I just want to talk to you. It's a lawful request, and you have to step out of the vehicle. If you have any weapons, just tell me now. No, I don't have any weapons. Okay. So step out, please. I'm going to open your door. Unlock your door, please. Why are you making this difficult? Because I don't. I'm not, all I'm asking is you for you to step out of the car. Right, and then I step out, and then somebody's already called me. And said I had to okay, so we'll get there. I'm just all we're all where we're at right now is to step out of the vehicle. Okay. Can you step out? Just unlock your door. All I'm going to do is pat you down and talk to you at the front of my unit. That's literally it. I don't have anything at all. Okay, I'm asking you to step out. You're making this a lot worse. How? Step out of the vehicle. How am I making it worse? Sir, I'm asking you to step out. Unlock your vehicle. And just step out of the car. Okay. So step out of your car. Step out of your car. You can talk to me, Step right? out of the car. Unlock your door. I'm gonna break your window. I'm gonna break your window. Unlock the door. Unlock it. How are you gonna, what, how are you gonna break the window? Unlock the door. The unlock the door. I'm telling you to unlock the door. Sir, unlock the door. 
why do you want the door unlocked? Just unlock the door. Why do I have to get out of the door? I'm asking you to get out. You have to get out. You. Unlock your door. No, I'm going to reach in and unlock out. your door. Unlock the I'm door. Hey, get your baton and break the glass. Why? It's right here. Unlock the door. Sir, I'm going to break the rest of your window and we're going to force you out of the vehicle. Unlock why? your door. Why? I'm already telling you to unlock it. Step out of the vehicle. He's going to stay in here. Step out. Pat him down. Detain him. Yes, yes. Three, four, so come. We have driver detained. Q, uh, see if there's a canine available. I'll call Travis County for a canine. Do you have anything on you that's gonna harm me, poke me, stab me? Do you have any weapons on you? Right now, just pat him down for weapons. Go ahead and separate your feet quickly, sir. Bend over slightly at the waist. Copy one wheel. The team's going to be if they have a cannon in it. So at this point, sir, you're under arrest for resisting, okay? Obstructing. So just grab everything out of his pockets. I've asked you multiple times. I asked you multiple times to get out of the vehicle. Yes, no. You are under arrest. Yeah. Harm me, poke me, stab me, anything. No uh, weapons of any kind. No pocket knives. Nothing like that. Correct? So I'm going to let you know what's going on. We had an anonymous call that weed fell out of your truck. You had a gun on your hip, and that's why we stopped you. So, anonymous person called. I asked you multiple times to exit the vehicle, which you didn't, so now you're under arrest for resisting, okay? That's what's going on. Okay. Like I told her, I stopped to let my dog out to use the bathroom down the road. All okay, so stuff. what is the reason for not stepping out of the vehicle when I because requested it, multiple times? You have to get out of the vehicle when a law enforcement officer asks you. I explained that to you. You have to. It's a lawful order. I don't get the and big I deal. I don't I know why you just... You no, did, you didn't. You didn't drag me out of the it car. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I did get out on my own. I asked you multiple times and you did not. You rolled the window up on me, so now you're under arrest. And I let it back down, too. When you all got out of the truck, my window was all Sir, the way down. I have to ask you multiple times. Okay? Read him his rights. Want him in uh, Sanchez's? No, no. Alright, okay. right, so everyone walks to the back of the unit. Alright, go ahead and sit there. Try to sit your butt in first and then don't hit your head. Okay. Slide your feet in there. Okay. So, sir, at this time you are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you. Do you understand the rights as I've read them to you? Okay. Do you wish to speak to me at this time? Okay. Yeah, he's super, like, nervous. I think he probably asked me. So oh, I yeah. wonder who the... It was an honor. I do have Kaden and They saw her. They saw her. They saw him drop it out of the back of the bed. And he said that I asked him about that. Like, did you do you remember? Do you remember anything about you dropping something or something like that? He said that he stopped at the travel center. I'm still trying to call your 46. I'll call them back once I get your 46. And that's all he did. Good for thank you. But he's like, I didn't. You searched some good, right? Yeah, I turned out his pockets. Checked his. Because they said he had a weapon on. I went yeah. all the way around his I waistband. It's in there. Imagine it's in the truck. You didn't see a holster on him? I didn't see a holster on him. I didn't see any firearms. I was trying to like look while I was talking to him. I didn't see anything. The dog is connected. Hey, 
So there is trash bags, black trash bags right here. So there's a, bo my, uh, there's a box of trash right bags. Now. So that kind of matches the black trash bag story. Okay. Officers requested a canine from Roswell Police to see if the dog detected an odor of narcotics. Yeah, I'll wait till, I'll wait till they come and put okay. the dog out. That way I can get a... Just that way the dog doesn't interfere with my dog. Yeah, but he's... he's I was talking to him, doesn't want to look at you. He's, ner he's nervous. And she asked for consent already, and he said no. She asked him for consent right off the bat, like after talking to him for a little bit. He said the dog, it's a pit bull that, he said the dog was friendly, but I don't know. You're always friendly to the owner. Right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so. And then you're taking him, uh, where do you guys usually take him? City, kennel, 705 East McGaffey. Okay, I'll let him know. Does he have family? 705 East McGaffey. No, um, I'll get with him. Uh, let me ask him that, and then uh, I'll yeah. let him know also. If... Just give me a name to put it under so they can hold it. Okay. okay. Thank you. Right. Do you have a family member that can come pick up the dog? Yeah, if I can call them. Okay. Because uh, they'll have a... There's an address that I'll give them where they can come pick it up. That's where the dog's going. Uh, yeah, if I can get a number off of my phone. Okay. I'll call my sister. Yeah. All right, well... We'll let them know. We'll let the animal control know. But I'm like, dang, like, that's weird. Like, an anonymous caller would give all that. Like, it's weird. It's just a weird kind of. But I guess, like, but yeah, I'm thinking, how did it drop out of the bed? You know what I mean? Like, I, because what it sounded like, it dropped out of the bed while he was driving. He pulled over to go pick it up. Unless he was fidgeting with his stuff and accidentally dropped it while pulled over on the side of the road. So that's what the caller said. Yeah, but he didn't want to step out. 424, no, 424, where are y'all on the property? I find he's like, okay, we're going to break it. He's like, okay, I'll step out. Ask, uh, ask the name of the person that's going to pick up the dog and then ask where his phone is. Okay. Hey, sir, what's the name? I think you said it was your sister that was going to pick up the dog, right? Mm -hmm. What's her name? Does it matter? I'm gonna run it to them so so they can contact her because we're gonna need to know where your phone is also. My phone's in my truck. It's in your truck? Where at in your truck? Right there on the uh, air vent. In the, on the air vent? Okay. And then your sister's name, will you give that to me? Yeah, it's Candy, K-A-N-D-I. K-A-N-D-I? Mm-hmm. Okay. In same last name, Western. Okay. And does she live locally? No, or she lives in Texas. She lives in Texas also. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. In New Mexico, you are only allowed to legally possess two ounces of marijuana. Thank you. Can you actually call radio? The canine alerted to the driver's side rear and passenger side rear of the vehicle. On the air vent? On the air vent. Like, like on the dashboard. How come we can get it? Did he say he and then uh, Candy Wester. Candy she lives West. in Texas. Okay. Candy Wester. And the dog did alert, so now we're going to do a search warrant, take it to the office, get a search warrant. Um, and then ask him if we can grab his phone. Hey, sir, would you uh, give us permission to get your phone out of your truck? Yeah. Yes? Okay, thank you. On the rack. Hey, pull. Okay. 
Just grab it from the dri- uh, right. after he's done, just grab it from the driver's side so we can call that person. Okay. Right. But don't, don't let him use his phone for anything else. Like, no text messages, just call and that's it. Oh, and that's a... Let me call the car if I can confirm somebody. to be I sure. I saw that. I saw some messages. I didn't get to read them, though. He was texting somebody on my... On my he's contract. calling. He's calling. And then, um, whenever he saw me look at the phone, he took it on. Yes, sir. I'm not going to give permission to to get in my phone. I'll just wait. I'll just wait and call her. Okay, now. so we don't have permission to get no, your phone or anything? I anything out of my truck. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Hey, negative. Okay. He rescinded it. No, can't get his phone. Okay. Don't get in the truck, anything. K9. Is the K9 work? Yeah. So okay. she, when I ran her on the first, the first pass this way, she alerted on the back door. And I wanted to see if she would, if I could get her to the bed and see what she says back there. Four. Nothing Four. on the bed, Four. but same back passenger door. Back passenger. So both, both rear doors, is, okay. this seems what she's alerting on. So if I had to guess, it's probably something might be in the back seat. Okay. Yeah, I did. I saw a black bag in, behind the front passenger seat. Like a black, like a black, uh, like a black uh, gold bag kind of. Black gold bag. And our dogs don't alert to weed either, so. Um, I, that's yeah, that's what I told Sanchez. I was like, I don't. Their dogs don't alert to weed, so. I mean, I would doubt it if he alerts, but you never know. He could have, you know what I mean? Yeah. He could have anything. So we we proof our dogs off of weed. So like every now and then we'll do our training to throw some weed out and just to don't... make sure that they're not alerting on. Oh, that's weed. good. That's good. Negative. Just, just, it's just because, you know, everybody, a lot of people smoke weed. And yeah, so, yeah. Know, you have your legal stuff. Okay. You just wanted me to let him know that if he pulls it like that, it could mess up the transmission. Hey, sir, so they're getting ready to tow your truck. Um, is there any way that you'd allow us to open it up and put it in drive or put it in neutral or anything like that? Because if he pulls it like this, it could cause some pretty damage to the to the Dodge there. Okay. All right. Thank you. So drag it. Mr. Wester's truck was towed to the state police office where a search warrant was sent off to a judge. A short time later, the judge sent an approved search warrant back. The officers searched the truck and located 90.62 pounds of marijuana in the bed of the truck in black trash bags, $51,615 under the rear seats in a gift bag, approximately 1.5 ounces of cocaine under the rear seats in a black zippered bag, and a stolen 38 revolver on the driver's side floorboard in a red bag. Mr. Wester was charged with distribution of synthetic cannabis, trafficking controlled substances, possession of drug paraphernalia, receiving stolen property, and resisting, evading, or obstructing an officer. On Thursday, November 2, 2023, at around 8 p.m., New Mexico State Police officers who were part of the agency's Crime Suppression Unit were notified by the 2nd District Attorney investigators that they had located a wanted fugitive at a car wash in Albuquerque. Officers arrived in unmarked vehicles and conducted a high-risk felony stop on the fugitive, who was a suspect in at least three armed robberies where he brandished a firearm and had warrants out for his arrest. <laughs> East containment with 40.
They're gonna run, they're gonna run, they're gonna run. Two has 40. Hands up! Hands up! Hey, put your hands up now! Let's get north containment. He can hop this wall. They are not complying. She's putting in drive. Hey, you're gonna get 40! Don't you hit what's around? Pinch her in, pinch her in, pinch her in. Pinch her in. The driver then got out of the vehicle and fled, but not before the officer fired a less than lethal 40 millimeter beanbag at her. 40, 40, 40! Hey, he's in the driver's seat! Don't worry about her! 41, 41's running. Our driver's still in the driver's seat. Our target's in the driver's seat. 41's running to the north. Hey, give two the air. Give two the air. You guys deal with him. Two has the air. 41 ran to the north. White shirt, blue jeans. Hey, if he runs this way, I got 40. Hands up! Our target's still in the car. Female run to the north, white shirt, blue jeans. Two, hey, two has 40 to your east. Two has 40. Ten four. It's a large fence to the west. She ran to the north. Ten four. Males getting in cussing now. I'm gonna pull back and I'm gonna go to the north. Hey, I got driver's side. I need driver's side close. I got you. I got you. Go ahead. You got you. We're up. Front. Front's clear. Front's clear. Again, front to your back. White t-shirt, blue jeans, pink shirt, red. I don't know if it works, dude. Here, 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 here's the knife. That's it, just me. No? No. Are you guys clear of the car so I can move to your Where's north? Gun? Go ahead, go ahead. Gun? Yeah, vehicle clear, vehicle clear, middle of custody. Ready? Good, 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 good. I don't see shit, no. The fugitive was identified as Joshua Candelaria. So before I talk to you, I'm going to reduce your rights, all right? So you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against your court of law. You have a right to talk to an attorney, have one present during questioning. If you got an afford an attorney, one we provided for you at government expense before any questions if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights, not enter questions or make any statements. If you decide to answer questions, you may stop answering questions and consult with an attorney. Do you understand what I told you, Mr. Candelaria? Okay, with your rights in mind, do you wish to speak to me? Sure. sure? Okay. Um, so, I want to talk to you kind of a little bit about everything that just happened. I mean, I know it's kind of kind of a crazy moment, right? Um, but, uh, so the vehicle you're in, uh, how long have you had that car for? Uh, I don't know, it's not mine. It's not yours? No. Whose car is it? Obviously, uh, I mean, not like, I'm not talking disrespect or nothing, but I know now it's a G-Ride. It's a G-Ride? Okay. <coughs> and um, how, how long have you had it for? I haven't had it. No, no, but like, how long have you been rolling around in it? Obviously, we just met you today in it. Yeah. Just uh, a few days. Okay. I picked up a few days. 
then uh, but your homegirl bunny right yeah uh, she was driving around it well it was someone else no it's when just... I first got in here okay but you two been driving around in it for a couple days yeah. okay um so I understand there was a firearm in the car right yeah uh have you ever been charged with a felony before? A felony? Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever been convicted of any kind of felony? Yeah. Yeah. Are you supposed to possess firearms? No. No? Okay. And that firearm, uh, you know it was in the car, right? You had access to it? Yeah. Okay. Did you ever possess that firearm at all? No. No? Okay. So let me tell you how things work. Okay, so that firearm, uh, have you, have you anyone ever kind of touched you about touch DNA before? No. Touch DNA? So touch DNA, so like it's like fingerprints, right? If you touch something, your DNA stays onto that, you know, that object, okay. right? Yeah. So if I if I get a warrant for your DNA and warrant for that gun, will your DNA be on that firearm? No. No. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Um, but the firearm in there, uh, I understand you made uh, other statements to to individuals of, of uh, that you were thinking about shooting it out with with us here just a second ago. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, so I knew again, where it was at and oh, you know where I wanted it? to. I wanted to reach for it and do something, I don't know. Okay, okay. So, um, the the car, you said you had it for a few days. Um, I understand you have a, 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 a warrant and you'll, you'll go to jail on, on, on a warrant and also your new charges. Yeah. Uh, your new charges is just going to be um, for the stolen car and that gun's being stolen as well. I mean, you're being one found in the car, okay. Um, um, and also, uh, when, when was the last time you got convicted of, of any kind of a felony? Um, I think it's been a while, I think. It's, it's been a while? Yeah. Okay. More than 10 years or less than 10 years? I think it's probably been over. Over 10 years? I okay. Know, at least eight. Are, are you on, were you on probation at any point? Mm, I've been to prison, in and out of prison, parole. When was the last time you were in prison? Um. 14. 14? Yeah, okay. I've been out for a while. I mean, I went to MDC a couple times for some petty charges, stuff. but... Okay. But uh, as a, a felon, you were known you were supposed to not have any kind of firearms, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and then it, in that vehicle, is, other than that one firearm, is there any other firearms that you worry about? No. No. Are you, are you a recreational user of, of narcotics? What do you use? Drive. Fentanyl, anything, anything, yeah. whatever you get your hands on. Yeah. Uh, is there any uh, large amounts of fentanyl I need to worry about in there? I know I saw some reverse oils and that's another paraphernalia, but it, that's all there is. Yeah. All right, there's no boats or yachts or nothing yeah, like that in there. Really no. Sure. Okay. Um, anything else on your person that I need to worry about? No. No. Okay. Um, anything else you want to tell me about about that car? No. no. Have you ever been charged with this solo motor vehicle before? Um, I think I was. It was, long, it was a long time ago, but I, I don't remember what happened. It okay. got dropped or something. Okay. Because I was, it wasn't. I didn't actually steal the car. It's just. I was with the girl. She reported it stolen because I didn't take it back on time. And, oh, yeah. Uh, one of those scoring girlfriends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, gotcha. So, uh, I, I'm just basing you off your tattoos here, and I see the W X. Yeah. Are you clicked up uh, here in town? Um, I mean, I used to be heavy in it, but it's been a long time. Okay. Once I got out of prison, I just kind of. What, 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 I mean, I know everything. I know everything. I, okay. Got you. No, I'm just looking at your tattoos, if you don't mind. Let me see yeah. you, the side of your neck here. The W. Can you, can you go ahead and turn your head real quick for me. The Duke, are you Duke uh, Bukenio? No. no. I, I was until I figured out what it was. <laughs> got you. Got you. Okay. Um, all right. Well, you're going to go in on your warrants and just the car being stolen and the gun being stolen, okay? Uh, any questions of me at all? Um, what? What is the gun charge that I go in on? Uh, um, is this through the gun stolen? Federal or what? Uh, right now it's not. Um, I am a TFO with the FBI uh -huh. uh, and we can take it federal. Um, uh, we just have to look at your history. Just look at your criminal history. Uh, I know right now uh, they're very big on on people with long, lengthy history. So I don't know your history. Um, I also don't know uh, what the charges are that that the warrants for. Okay. Um, but depending on what what, uh, what happened with those charges, they can, those can go federal as well, uh, based off of whatever the charges were. Um, and I'm sure someone's going to come to MDC and talk to you about those charges. Okay.
Yeah. All right, sir. Uh, anything you need right now? Uh, no, no, just if I can uh, get my phone. What kind of phone is it? It's a, it, it's a, it has a clear case and it says Sky. Like that's the Sky? type of phone it is. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll see if I can find it. Uh, drivers are in the passenger side where you're sitting at? Yeah, it should, it should have been like right there on the seat. Well, I mean, I'm sure it's tore Kick up. Kick up, yeah. There, but... Got you. We'll figure it out. I mean, uh, other, Sky. Yeah, other than that, I mean... You don't have a wallet, no nothing like that? No, nothing. Okay, gotcha. All right. Thank you. Uh -huh. Hey, bro, so uh, quick question about some... Uh, there was a, uh, some pills that were found in the car. You said you were a user? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we found some pills in there, all right? Uh, they were in uh, female stuff, uh, so I don't know if it was yours or not, all right? But um, you being in the car, uh, and we, we, of course, we're, we're not knowing who she is, right? Uh, oh, come on, man. So I, I'm just telling you, well, if you want to not get those charges, we'll charge her with it, but we need to know who the hell she is. If I don't know her. I, I'm dead serious Triple about five, her. Five, I don't her name. You don't know her name? Know. How long have you been hanging out with her? Just like it's, I've known her for like probably two months now. Okay. But it's been like an on and off thing. Like we, this is the first time that we started like. Is it your chick? It. Or is that? Like, the female driver was never located, even after an extensive search was conducted. That's what I'm saying. Like I can't even call it that because I don't know her like that. I got you. I don't even know her name. Like. I, so you just know her by bunny. But we just we we're starting to like we were starting to like kick it like like that we got you but so you only other than bunny you did sure. again so again you're in the vehicle you said that you're a user and i asked you if, uh, what you use you said it's anything right. yeah. so i'm so I'm, I'm kind of hinting of what whatever's in that car is basically going to be yours right. if we don't know who she is all right? right that's right okay all right double checking okay mr candelaria was charged with receiving or transferring a stolen vehicle receiving a stolen firearm possession of a firearm by a felon, possession of a controlled substance, and resisting, evading, or obstructing an officer. I think it's on the hood. Ready? 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 Ready